So in this video we're going to talk about fibromyalgia and how that works with strength training and the effectiveness of strength training for this. Now firstly fibromyalgia is basically pain throughout your body, there are various tender points, it comes with a lot of other side issues, sleep related issues, digestive issues, obviously depression related things and so on and so forth but it's pre pre predominantly pain related where there are multiple sides through the body that are painful. Uh, when you scan these individuals and when you look at various other things, there's not a lot they can find and therefore these, this uh, condition seems to be very much aligned and linked with chronic stress syndrome and, uh, and that sort of thing. So, but what was interesting is there was a systematic review where they looked at a lot of uh, papers and they were looking at um, the effectiveness of strength training for fibromyalgia patients because most of the time people look at fibromyalgia and say light exercise, light stretching and strength training isn't really that. So firstly what did they look at in terms of the parameters that they used? Well they were looking at 40% of a one repetition max which is still substantial. Obviously it's not as heavy as can be utilized in normal cases if you're looking to optimally get stronger but so it was a tad lighter but it's still not light and it still is driving strengthening development. The range that they were uh, using reps on was ranging from 4 up to 20 repetitions and they were doing this twice per week. So again not an immense amount um, which is also very good because a lot of these patients don't really feel like doing exercise and this sort of thing. Um, but what they looked at is these parameters and the effectiveness overall on various things and lo and behold they found improvements across the board. So they found lower pain levels, fewer tender spots, less tenderness, better function and functional capacity. They found less depression, less anxiety, less fatigue and overall a better quality of life. So if you look at this, this looks like it's a very very good avenue to take as part of a whole program of, of things for fibromyalgia patients. So strength training done in these kind of parameters looks to be across the board improving on many aspects. And it's no surprise as long as the exercise is in the right zone and being tolerated. You know, obviously exercise we know already in normal people helps with fatigue, helps with quality of life, helps with function, helps with strength, helps with anxiety, helps with depression. So why would that be different in a fibromyalgia patient? It wouldn't. The difficulty is finding the right parameters. So these looked at these parameters. Obviously you've got to be mindful of listening to your body and training at the right levels uh, and then building things up progressively from there. But it's a really good uh, systematic review looking at this and it does highlight strength training is a very, very good and very, very useful thing for patients with fibromyalgia. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.